Right, so I've been playing around with my phone settings and I managed to turn the brightness down. Right, so in theory, I should be able to capture. Right, let's do this. Go to 3D Mark 1. So I'm going to redo this video. I've set the brightness lower so that it doesn't oversaturate my video because it was blanking out. Well, it was. It was whiting out rather. It was whiting out the numbers, the, the, the benchmarking numbers at the bottom of the screen. So I've been trying to set this up so that it's less um, glary. Well, let's just zoom this out a bit. Oh, shucks. It's just, I think it just reset it. Hang on. Let me zoom out a bit. Ah, oh, damn it. I'm trying to get the zoom right. Uh, stupid thing. Come on. Right. Uh, there. Right. So if I bring that back up again, that's one. Let's select. Um, Turn that off because it's no no sound one. Uh, I'm going to turn off my CPU test because they're you know, it's a waste of time because they're just slow. The CPU tests are always slow. Right. Um. Might click on run through the mark. Let's see if this. Ah. Right. Okay. So it's not too bright. Okay. Let's see if we can see the. Um. Hang on. Ah, cool. We can actually see the, the actual, we can actually see the numbers at the bottom of the screen now. So I'm redoing this benchmarking. Right, so I'm going to 3D Mark again with the brightness turned down on the phone. And we can actually see the benchmarking. Five, oh my god, 500 and frames per second. Bloody hell. Uh, <clears throat> so this is 3D Mark 3. So that's better. I can actually read the text now. It's not whiting out. Obviously, the <coughs> the actual monitor display is going to be dimmer as well, which is okay because it's only um, the settings are only affecting the phone. You say not the actual <coughs> computer that's running these tests. Yeah, that's cool. I can see the text. I can see the numbers now. My eyes are, uh, just, I might want to zoom in a bit more though. I'm getting some weird sounds coming out of my speakers. <laughs> my graphics card probably wants a bit more shielding on it or something because it seems to be interfering with my motherboard. Let's see if I can zoom in a bit more without messing up work 2.1 times. So let's see if I go, oops, wrong way. Two point three times. Oops. Ah, I've lost it now. Um. Right, that's about right there. Right. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll pause in between each test. Um. I'm trying. Do we? <laughs> And the reason I'm doing this, I explain later, is because you can save your files as a benchmark test file, but the trouble is, um, <clears throat> when I install um, Linux on my other hard drive, I'm not even sure I'll be able to read the file because it'll be on I'll be on Linux, and I want to do a I want to do a comparison, and I want to compare it on Linux. Eventually, when I get Zorin on, installed on the um, host. Uh, computer on a different SSD I want to be able to do a comparison with the Windows test you know see what the difference is and uh, I'd, I'd be nice to have the video um, to be able to look at because you can play videos on both Windows or um, Linux so yeah 
So yeah, these tests take quite a while. So, but at least we can see the score at the bottom now. When it when it doesn't blur out on me and glitch out on me. It seems to keep getting bigger and smaller in size of screen. Let me just tilt that forward a bit. Oh. Right, unfortunately these tests take ages. The last video I did when I was doing these tests was about 40 minutes. Hmm. Uh, looks like I'm cropping the top of the screen off. Uh, damn, I'll just sum up. Um, okay, let's zoom it out a bit. That's better, I think. Uh. Yeah, my graphics card normally hangs around, hangs at around 31 degrees Celsius. Um, but it depends really if it, what it's doing, the computer. But it's usually around 31, 32. It's currently at 40, 44 Celsius right now.
Okay, so we got a far, what, Trimble Far 77 3D Max on that test. Hmm. Right, um, I'm not going to save it because it's on the video anyway. Uh, right, cool, let's just run the demo. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to run it all, just some of it. I like the square cow. 
I always laugh at that cow because it looks so square. Hmm. <laughs> it's funny. Anyway, I better go. I better move on to the next one because. Oh. Yeah, because otherwise my video is going to be too freaking long. Um, I just wanted to test. So that's the first one. Uh, I'll pause a minute. Uh, so, 3D Mark 05, we'll run just a few of the tests. Well, I'll just run all the tests actually, but I don't know if I'm going to do much with the demo. At least we can see the actual frames per, sec frames per second now. Couldn't see them in the last video. Because it, oh, it's so bright. Oh, excuse me. Hmm. <sighs> uh. <clears throat> oh, I keep going out of focus on my. Oh, it's doing it. So anyway, um, the parts I ordered for the computer um, should arrive. I don't know, maybe tomorrow or the day after <coughs> well and i've already got six sata ports so one sata port could be which is on the ssd in the computer at the moment that can be moved across to the external um drive bay module so i can actually plug in different ssds for that particular boot because that boot that ssd drive actually contains windows Seven a Windows XP it it H H D M no what's it A H C I enhanced host controller interface which I customize on XP which normally doesn't work on XP but yeah um, at least after you've installed it already so I had to mess around with that I don't want to lose that because it was such a nightmare getting the, enhanced host controller interface to work on XP it was such a pain the reason I was doing that was because you get faster access to a solid state drive and it runs a bit faster on a solid state drive than it does on a ATA or um, you know standard hard drive um, and I've not really used that operating system but it's there as um it's something I come back to every now and then to optimize and customize but um so i don't want to lose that copy that's the reason why it's on a separate, separate ssd um drive um so that i can eventually i mean it's not a lot of disk space on there though um eventually i'll get when the i think solid state drives um 
SSDs have actually got quite big now. They've got a lot bigger than when I got that drive, so and they got cheaper as well. So eventually, I want to get a bigger SSD drive and copy the entire partition across to a, a bigger drive, and then I can start installing some software on it. Because at the moment, it's I think there's like five gigabytes of space, which is not enough. It's not enough to do anything with, really. Um, I feel like somebody just walked over my grave. <laughs> oh dear me. So yeah, uh, spiritual stuff sometimes gets you. Oh, oh yeah, I've got to turn off the CPU thing. Uh, but the CPU benchmarks just always suck. They always do and I've got to turn that off. Um. Yeah, it's like four frames per second. It's not even worth bothering testing them, are um, As I was saying in the previous video, um, CPU processing isn't brilliant for doing graphics. It's better for doing lots of other things. But it's not really good. It's not designed to specifically give you fast video. That's why I want to get that. Um, that's why I want to put... Linux on my on on a solid on a, the host instead of on the virtual machine because you can get faster graphics processing and I have do I've no I have absolutely no intention of using Windows um, ten or eleven or twelve whatever um, because it's just such it's just got so it's 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 just fat and bulky and you, and it gets bigger and bigger and bigger and, and you end up with so much junk in the history and the data files it, my friend Dave's had nothing but trouble with Windows 7 because it just gets it just gets swamped down um I just know no no way am I going to use that those systems they're just it's just useless. They, they, they have very poor data management. They don't chuck away stuff which is obsolete. They just it just builds up and up and up. It's like it's like somebody that doesn't take out the trash, you know. So I would say Windows 10, 11, 12, 13, whatever. They're basically harder systems. Windows harder is what I like to call it. Harding. Because they just hoard data and a lot of stuff you don't need anymore. It just, it's just ridiculous. So at least I think we need good operating systems that can, that know how to take out the trash basically. And it seems like the general public, like the rest of us, me and the rest of everybody else, we get, we basically get suckered into using junk basically and uh, such a lot of software is junk really it doesn't provide you with longevity it, it just you're constantly in a vicious circle of reinstalling windows all the time and basically going around in circles and as fast as you get it the way you want it you get your software installed the way you like it you you end up with a bloated operating system and you can't get rid of it and the only way to do it is to reinstall unless you do what i've been doing which is to create a backup image um of the operating system so that's what i've been doing for the last 10 years 15 years install the operating system put all the software on it you like um get it set up exactly the perfectly the way you want it make sure it's all stable and everything make a backup of it a backup image of it that's got no history no clutter nothing in it then <clears throat> every time you notice there's a big slowdown and your operating system starts to get cluttered and choked up again save all your documents and settings on a separate partition um, that's separate from the backup you know that won't get overwritten and then just restore from the backup image and you've got a fresh um 
Windows installation basically without having to do all our work all over again so you don't have to mess around installing your software again you have to install customize it all again because it's all set up the way you want it and and all your documents that you recently acquired are on a different partition anyway so they're not going to get overwritten that's the way to do it and it's the only way to do it really if you want to have less hassle and you don't want to be in that on that roundabout of constantly reinstalling windows and reinstalling all your software and doing it all from scratch if you don't want to be in that mess that is all you can that's the only way you can do it really and there's there's different backup systems out there oh cool that's a good one uh 134 or is it 13,473 3d max well, that cool hmm. So let's just, uh, let's, I'll run the demo for a bit. Um, so how long, how many minutes? Oh, 27 minutes. Well, that's about right. So when I do the third test, it should be about 40 minutes.
I think this video is a bit dark actually on here, so I might not, I might have to skip forwards because it's very dark. I can't really see it too good. Yeah, I think I'll have to skip to the next test actually. Yep. Yeah. Okay, I'll quit the demo because it's a bit dark. I can't really see much. So, yeah. So. You know, the last time I won these speedy mark tests, my uh, display at the bottom, my temperatures, the module it froze up on me for some reason. <laughs> All right, we'll try number six. Hopefully, I'll oh, pause a minute. So I'm saying it to. <clears throat> Resolution 1360768, which is the same as my computer monitor, and and here this in two sample here um, seems to work best for me. Uh, click OK. I'll just I'll skip the CPU tests because I ain't got much time and they're just slow anyway. Um, they're always slow CPU tests, especially on this test number five. You know, 3D Mark up six I mean um let's see what else can i yeah there's only four tests on here anyway so right okay run that my temperature on graphics is 41 celsius right now and yeah we can read the uh Star, even the bottom, it's, it's actually very blue, but it's not actually really that blue, it's light blue, if anything. It seems to be something to do with the fact that I've got the brightness turned way down on the phone. Well, at least we can read the text, that's all I'm bothered about, really. I haven't quite got it level, let's see if I can. Level it out a bit more. I don't think I'll play the demo because this is pretty much the same as the other one. It's freaking loud anyway. Not sure we turn the volume down on this because you can't actually access the volume controls or anything. I could go out of it and then turn to my volume and then come back into it, but. Yeah, I'm not gonna bother. I just wanna do it I just wanna do the test. Um Oh this is dark again, but we have to do it because it's a test, isn't it? Uh I like the spiritual stuff, I'm a spiritual person, but um, I think they're supposed to be fireflies. I didn't know they were fireflies, different colours, but oh well. I thought they were just one colour. Hmm. I could be wrong. I think it's that balloon thing again after this. I 
That tree stump always freaks me out. I think it's creepy. Yeah, I'll skip the CPU tests. Girls, I ain't got time to do it all. And then the worst of time anyway, I usually get on this uh, 06, I normally only get like one or two frames, maybe four frames per second. It's just so bad. It's not worth running them because the whole point of this test really is from a graphics card. That's what I'm more interested in. Uh, let's see what, oh my graphics card's at 45C now. 45 Celsius. That's using an external thermistor on the heatsink. I think the internal temperature will probably be close to 50. Yeah, you know, I think some of these are based on movies, you know, because I think there's a movie called Deep Freeze. Um, it must be, actually. It must be based on... Because I think when they make movies, they often make games based on the actual movie, don't they? I'm pretty sure that's the way they do it, the other way around. It's not... It's not game first and then movie. It's usually movie then game. But I'm not a gamey person. I think the last thing I ever played really properly was the last Ninja. That was back in the 80s and that was only because somebody gave me it. <laughs> um... Well, at least I can read all the frames per second. Even if the colours are a bit weird. At least it's visible. If before it was completely whited out, you couldn't see anything. Okay, so that was... Uh... Hmm... SM2 score 4720, HDR SM3 score 6194, CPU score not available because I turned that off. Right, cool. Right, so what are we at? We're at 39 minutes. Yeah, it's about the same as last time. It was about a 40 minute video last time, so. Cool. Yeah, I'll just run the demo for a bit and then I'll end the video. Um, oh yeah it's this one again oh god it's noisy I think I'll just end it now actually <laughs> I've already um, I've already seen this I'll, I'll just skip to the next demo uh, I'll just let it play for a bit. down
No, I've had enough of that. Too loud. Anyway, that's it. I just wanted to do some tests, that's all. Anyway, bye for now.